When it comes to practicing, I think the most important thing is that you practice as much as you can. And with as much as you can, I mean just sort of like every day, pick up your instrument, whether it's a ukulele or a guitar, and even if it's just for two or five minutes, just grab it, right? Play through some of the things that we did in lesson, whether it's a chord, whether it's a rhythm, anything. The hardest part about learning these instruments is always in the beginning. So the more you practice in the beginning, the easier it'll be and the sooner you'll be past this beginner stage because after the beginner stage is where the fun really happens. I mean, I'm not saying that this isn't fun, but the moment we can start really making music together and doing all kinds of things, it's super, super exciting. It's something really nice to look forward to, but it does require some practice. So when it comes to practice, what are good things to do? First of all, I think it's um, the easiest thing to do is to do it daily, because if you do it daily, then it just becomes a normal thing like brushing your teeth. Another thing to do is to sort of uh, create a little bit of a practice routine where you go through the things of the lesson. And this works best the day of your lesson, the day after, and the day after that. So those three days are essential. So some people ask me like, how much should I practice? Preferably daily, but I understand that that's not possible or not always possible. So, but those three days are the most important. And why is that? Well, when you have your lesson, then a day after you remember about 50% of what we did in the lesson. The day after that, that knowledge is cut in half as well. So then we're left with 25%. So to retain most information and most things that we did in lesson, the best thing to do is to just right after the class, go through everything again, or when you come home, go through everything again and be like, okay, so what did we do? And you do the same the next day and the day after. Like brushing your teeth, you usually do it at certain moments during the day. And that's why we don't forget it. When I go to bed and I haven't brushed my teeth, I'm like, oh, wait a second, I didn't brush my teeth. Because I have that routine of before I go to bed, I brush my teeth. So, when it comes to playing the guitar or the ukulele, what you could do is to do it before dinner, after dinner, uh, once you get home from school, um, anything, as long as there is a fixed routine. What could also really, really help is to have sort of your days on, the, on a calendar or something on the fridge, and you just put on a sticker for every day that you practiced, and uh, yeah, so you can sort of keep track of what you did. Another thing that could really help your practice is to reward yourself after practice. So that could be having a glass of juice, having a snack, um, maybe relaxing on the couch or doing a certain game, anything. And it's just a little bit of extra motivation to get you going in the beginning. Another thing, is that there are no mistakes. And this sounds really strange because sometimes I refer to certain things as if they are mistakes, but that's not really what I mean, but that's just sort of a language thing, but there are no mistakes. And let me explain to you because I can understand that you might not really um, agree with me on that. So what do I mean by that? There are no mistakes. There is no musician on the planet, at least the ones that I know, who when they started to learn an instrument, who never played a wrong note, or never made a mistake, or never did this or that. So, if mistakes are part of learning to play an instrument, does that mean that we're doing something wrong? No. It's perfectly normal. So whenever something like that is happening that you don't get it or that you're like, oh, uh, I forgot how to play that. Or maybe you know how to play something but you place your finger in the wrong position and it sounds, maybe it sounds a little bit off. There's nothing wrong with that. 
We've all had it. I still have it when I'm learning new pieces. It's all part of learning to play the instrument. So be gentle with yourself. Be patient. Because when you listen to yourself play now, and you listen to yourself play, say, two months from now or a month from now, that's already such a big difference, right? So everything is a gradual process. The best way you can illustrate it is with a baby. So when a baby learns to walk and the baby trips, for instance, are you going to say, hey, you made a mistake? No, we understand that when a baby learns to walk, they're going to fall tons of times. There's going to be lots of crying. It doesn't keep the baby from learning to walk, though, right? Because that's what it wants to do. So in that sense, when we're learning an instrument, we kind of have to be like a baby again, right? We just stumble and fall, and we just have to keep in mind that this is what we want to do. We want to learn how to play that, or we want to learn how to do that. And then all the stumbling and falling is all part of it. And it doesn't have to be all crying either, because a lot of kids or a lot of babies have fun when they're learning to do all those things. And the last thing that I want to say to you is just have fun. Don't overthink it. Um, don't let what others do influence you. Just grab your instrument, play it, and just enjoy it.